Storm Trucker weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. We have had some wind around today, especially over the past few hours, but outside of the wind, we have had some gorgeous weather for your day today with above average temperatures and lots of sunshine in most locations. In Great Falls, we topped out at 41 degrees today with a low temperature of 21 degrees this morning, both which are well above average for this time of year. On the Great Falls Clinic Guide Cam, we had a lot of blue sky and a lot of sunshine around throughout the entire day today, and we do currently have clear skies in the electric city right now in Helena 34 degrees, which is exactly where we should be for this time of year and 19 degrees was our low temperature this morning on the opportunity bank eye cam. Same thing. We've had a lot of sunshine around throughout the day with mainly clear skies currently in the capital city. Temperatures right now are in the mid to upper 20s and low to mid 30s in most locations, so it does feel pretty nice outside. And talking about the wind, it is breezy, but the wind really isn't that terrible. Sustained wind speeds for most of us are between 10 and 20 miles per hour, but we are dealing with some stronger winds along the Rocky Mountain front right now. And really, as we go through the next several days, the wind is going to be the big story. Going through tonight, the wind is going to be getting stronger and sustained wind speeds for most of tonight are going to be between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times, so it will be breezy overnight tonight. The wind will get even stronger as we go through the day tomorrow. It is going to be windy tomorrow, especially during the second half of the day. Sustained wind speeds are going to be between 15 and 35 miles per hour and wind gusts over 50 miles per hour are going to be possible at times in the plains, while wind gusts over 60 miles per hour are going to be possible along the Rocky Mountain front, as well as in locations just east of the Rocky Mountain front. The wind will then diminish some as we head into tomorrow night, but it will continue to be breezy. And then for your day on Saturday, the wind's not going to be terrible, but will breezy conditions around throughout the day with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. And then that wind is going to pick right back up as we head into Saturday night and in your day on Sunday. Now, high pressure is currently in control of our weather. And this is going to be in control of our weather for the next few days, so we are not really going to be seeing any precipitation and there will be some more clouds around, but we're still going to have some sunshine around as well. Tonight, mainly clear skies and dry conditions. Tomorrow, there will be some more cloud cover around, but we are still going to have partly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow. Heading into tomorrow night, we are going to have partly cloudy skies and then for your day on Saturday, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies are expected throughout the day and we are going to continue to have dry conditions. Tonight it is going to be a chilly night, colder in the valleys and the mountains where lows are going to be in the teens tonight, even a few single digits around in the plains, though a little bit warmer thanks to the wind with lows only in the 20s and a few spots remaining in the lower 30s. Heading into your day tomorrow, high temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 30s and lower 40s in the valleys and the mountains. It is going to be a mild day in the plains, though, with highs topping out in the mid to upper 40s and low to mid 50s. Next three days in Great Falls will be in the 50s on Saturday and Sunday, but it will continue to be breezy to windy. Colder with some snow around on Monday and then Tuesday. Scattered snow around, especially during the morning and highs only in the teens, so it will be a lot colder to start February. In Helena, near 40 degrees as we head into this weekend, then colder with some snow around next Monday and Tuesday.